league where we got to do better. We got to coach it better. We got to make sure that guys execute it better. That's where we got to get better at for sure. Kyler Gordon has been put on the injured reserve today. The Bears have signed Greg Stroman Jr. off the practice squad to take his spot. Kyler is believed to have broke his hand and he will be eligible to return on week six against the Minnesota Vikings. Josh Blackwell should be first in line to fill in for Gordon. Blackwell was an undrafted free agent out of Duke last season. He was a four-phase special teams player for us and played in 16 games last year. He also made one start at cornerback late in the season. He had 23 tackles and one forced fumble on the year. Blackwell was a core player on special teams for us and was awesome, but he also played well in his limited snaps at corner. He was limited in practice yesterday and today, but should be ready to go for this weekend's matchup against the Bucks. Meanwhile, we also brought up Greg Stroman Jr. to the active roster. He also started one game for us last year. He had eight tackles and an interception. Stroman Jr. is only 27 years old. He was a seventh round pick by the team formerly known as the Redskins. He's dealt with a lot of injuries in his young career, but he's only 27 years old and he's shown a lot of promise in the nickelback role for us. He looked good this year during the preseason and made some big plays. My hope here is that between Josh Blackwell and Greg Stroman Jr., we can at least get solid play out of the nickelback spot. Hopefully Kyler's ready to return week 6 versus the Vikings. He will be missed. Speaking of guys we are waiting for to come back, Tevin Jenkins was seen at practice today walking around and talking with the coaches. He is not eligible to play until week 5. Hopefully he's ready to go by then. Luke Getze spoke to the media today as well. He said the goal is to always get DJ Moore the ball, and they will continue working ways to get the ball into his hands. Getze and Eberflus were both asked about Chase Claypool, including questions on whether or not he'll be active this week and if ESB could potentially replace him in the lineup. This is just a worst case scenario for Chase Claypool after week one. He got destroyed on a block, blowing up a screenplay, then had two targets and zero catches on the day. The Claypool situation hit rock bottom last week. Out of almost every player on the roster, Chase Claypool, more than anyone, is a guy who has to respond this week. Here is what Getzey said about Claypool's effort. How do you motivate Chase to do a better job, to do a better effort in his dirty work of blocking? How do you motivate him? How do you get him motivated to do that? Yeah, no, I think, I think Chase is motivated. I think he wants to do it. I think, uh, you know, he had a couple plays where he didn't execute it, and, you know, that hurt us, and uh, he knows that. But I think Chase wants to do it. I don't think it's a matter of him wanting. Or blocking, that's, that's an effort, isn't it? I mean, blocking. Um, part of it for sure i mean it's a, it's a will it's a it's a it's a knowing your assignment execution you guys have seen our run game it's not an easy thing on receivers that's why we value the, the people that can play multiple positions and do multiple things uh, so that's part of it but yeah effort is part of it but it's only a part of it i still have faith in chase claypool he has so much talent and is a freak athlete and physical presence on that football field i'm rooting for a bounce back and for him to finish the year strong if he plays like he did in week one, though, I will be the first to admit that it didn't work out. But his time in Chicago is not over yet. I've been watching a lot more tape, specifically in the trenches, checking out Darnell Wright and Jervon Dexter in their NFL debuts. I have more videos on the way. Please hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down. Do right, Jay. Do right, Jay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, good work today, baby. Let's keep going. Here we go. Bears on three. One, two, three. Hey.